Well, hello there, it's me. I'm out here in my relic patch. I'm with the Amphibio today and I'm trying out something new from Note to Macro. And it's pretty sweet. But first of all, it's March 12th, 8.19 in the morning, year 2021. And I have a target here. So let's see what it is. I have a tripod today too. Woohoo! already carved a big hole in the ground so let's see what we got oh, there's someone shooting over there <laughs> well, it should be right in here I do see some broken glass and pottery Well, let's see what we got here. It's in the 50s. So hopefully it's something good. No, well, it's not. It's not good. It's a big piece of broken can. All right, well. I thought it'd be something cool. Oh well. Let's get the rest of the junk out of the hole and we'll keep moving. Well, this is what I'm trying out new today. This is the Note to Macro shovel. It's adjustable. I got it on the highest setting here. And it's all stainless steel. And it cuts a really good plug. <laughs> it's bigger than my old Samson. So, and it's not as heavy as my uh, big brute rock breaker that I have. So, I'm gonna be using this today, giving it a good shot. Okay, this was a uh, 78. Nice to be able to dig deep out here. Here we get some glass. Go ahead and put that in the shovel. And just lift this up. All right. Wonder what it is. Send the plug. Oh boy. Well, we know what kind of hunt today is going to be. We have an old Ham's. <laughs> Ham's beer can. It's the relic patch. You never know what you're going to get out here. All right, so I'm going to kind of give up on live digs for a little bit. But I just got one of these. It was a thing at some time. <laughs> got a little slot on the back. Like it went onto something and slid on. And it's got two rivets. Who knows? That's the fun thing about relic hunting. Things you find were something at some time, but now they're not. All right, so this was in the 20s. I was thinking horseshoe. A hinge piece? I don't know. It's pretty cool though. It's old. I like it. It'll go in the bag. 
Okay, this was sitting in about 78. Get my pointer turned on. Already had it on. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of iron on the ground, by the way. It's pretty close to the surface. Hopefully it's not aluminum. It's in the clump. You see what I'm doing? Yep, cool. Oh, I see something around. Ooh. We got a wheat penny. That's the second coin I pulled out of here. First one is that seeded dime. Now how old's this wee? Hard to see. It's actually in beautiful shape. Now let's get a close up. Okay, I'm gonna have to zoom in. The 1920. It's in beautiful shape. We'll keep that weedy excitement. Woohoo! That's the weirdest looking blown up bullet I've ever seen. <laughs> Pretty crazy. It's just kind of a chill hunt today. Um, I don't know. It's been a rough week at work. Had some news that I didn't like. So it's just more of a getting out, enjoying myself. <sighs> out at my relic patch, fresh air, blue skies, new t-shirt, and trying out this awesome shovel by Nocta Macro. Right there, laser etched. Um, what's cool about this, like I said, you can make it smaller or make it adult size <laughs> uh, it's nice and serrated this is their stainless steel shovel it's got inches and stuff all the way down the handle and uh, yeah it's a brute it cuts a great plug check it out if you need a good shovel and you don't like to deal with rust and you want something that you can Kind of make small, throw in your trunk, not take up a lot of space. It's a good shovel. All right, let's see if we can find another weedy. I need my weedies. That 1920 weedy is pretty cool. Mm. Okay, this one's in like 78. It's right about there. I can see the edge of something. Hopefully it's something good. Ooh. That it's a lady bitty shirt button. That's cute. It's a it's a two hole button. It's probably aluminum. I probably just dropped it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Take a little button. Alrighty. Let's keep going. All right. How about a live dig? So far, I've got two grommets out of this spot. I'm thinking this is another one. Oh, shush. Well, let's see what it is. It's in the 50s. Yep. Grommet number three. It just fell in a hole. There it is. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of grommets here. And burnt wood. Oh, add that to the grommet collection. Well, everybody, I think I'm going to call it quits today. Um, I think that's about all I have it in me. I spent, well, let's uh, see my clock here, 10, 10, so about an hour, 45 minutes. Got some interesting relics, got a nice little coin, cute little button, and a whole bunch of grommets. I ended up getting, I think it's six out of that one little spot. 
So anyways, uh, I'll put all the finds up at the end here and it'll just be a picture. But y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. And bye for now. Okay, it's the next day. Um, yeah. Got cleaned up and just didn't feel like doing my outro. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I ended the hunt early. I was having some technical issues. Uh, still can't figure out what happened. Uh, machine locked onto a overload and it wouldn't unlatch. It just kept overloading. Uh, locked like, I don't know, about 20 meters away. Shut the machine off, turn it back on, still make an overload. That's what it sounded like. What's going on? So yeah, um, tried different frequencies, different settings, still overloading. So ended up packing up my gear, going back to the car. I put my smaller coil on the uh, KR24, the little itty bitty elliptical I like using. And it was wanting to be erratic. Like what is going on? Do I need to do a reload of the firmware, um, something, but, uh, came back home, started testing it out and it's rock solid. So I don't know. I know my Equinox did that before out there and my Deus did that too. So I don't know, maybe I got a big EMF blast from the base. I don't know. There is a base just within miles of the place. They have a big, uh, uh, phased array radar system. So maybe I hipped up onto that, who knows? That thing's pretty powerful. But anyways, I digress. Let's look at the stuff I did dig. All right, so we got that really cool bracket thingy that obviously did something at some point in time. I like it though, I think it's pretty cool looking. Uh, that weird bullet. Now, can someone explain to me? I know this looks, this to me looks like a slugger or a slug round, but a hollow point slug? Oh, I've never seen that before. I, can, I mean, it's got the rifling and everything, but what is that? It's definitely lead though, it's heavy. Uh, this is a glob of something. Uh, there's this thing here. When I got it home, started cleaning it, it's got some writing on it. And it still has paint on it. That is slotted like it would slide down onto something. So if you've ever seen anything like that before, let me know, put it in the comments below. Or if you have an idea, because to me it looks like it could be a handle of some sort, like it, you know, latched on like this and you pull it up, pull the handle open. But yeah, I've never seen that before and it's, Turn it around this way. It's got some sort of writing on it. I thought I could bring it out by sanding it lightly. Like this here and this here, that's where the pins are going through. But it's almost like it's something patent pending. I don't know. You might be able to see something out that I can't see. Anyways, I think it's pretty cool looking. It's gonna go in the, the pile of cool rusty junk. A uh, little piece of shrapnel. We got a chuck and chill head stamp. Uh, 3030, partial to 3030. I go back out. We ended up with six grommets and one, I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one still has canvas in it. The rest were all burnt out. Bunch of nails, of course. And I kept a piece of glass. I looked at this closer. That's the edge of it. So this is either a teacup or a really thin bowl. I'm going teacup. The 1920 wheat scent. Oh, sorry. New phone. Who does? It's iPhone 12. It does weird things. So 1920 wheat scent and a little aluminum shirt button. I did have that hams can and um, little bits and pieces of other beer cans, but I threw those away. I didn't figure you guys would want to see them. But yeah, that's what I found. Anyways, y'all take care. Get out there, do some hunting. All you people in the Northeast, your thaw is coming soon. I'm going to look forward to seeing all the cool stuff you guys dig. 
and uh, you guys up in the upper Midwest too. But uh, get out there, see the world, dig some holes, fill them up, take home the garbage, and have a good time. Y'all take care, good luck, happy hunting, stay safe, and bye for now.